So I recently started cleaning out some of the basement, getting a little bit more organized, and I did come across my VHS collection. So I wanted to take time to start doing a series of videos of all of my VHS um, tapes that are in my collection. Some of them are still sealed and new. Some of them have been opened. Um, so today I thought I would take time just to go ahead through the first um, tub of movies that I have. These all happen to be sealed up and it's just gonna be a few that I've got in this particular tub. So I wanted to take time just to show you what I got. Now, as far as VHS tapes, I have been collecting VH Tech, VHS tapes since the 80s and the 90s. I used to work in a video store um, back in the early 90s. And I remember back in the 80s when I got my first VCR, how, much it, how long it took me to save up to get that. Things were so much more expensive back then. Um, but even the VHS tapes back then were very expensive. But a lot of these I got from um, Best Buy back when they first started here in the Georgia area. And so anyways, I wanna go ahead and get started and show you what I got. So first up we have, now remember these are all sealed, so I do apologize that none of these have been opened, um, but you will see some in the future videos that haven't opened. But first up we have A Few Good Men. I've always enjoyed this film. So really liked having this one on VHS. Um, never did get around to opening these, of course, and but I, you know, so whenever I purchased these, I did, ha I had already seen these movies, um, either in the theater, I guess just in the theater, because back then we didn't have, yeah, we, we had cable TV also. So either I seen these in the theater or I saw them on cable and decided to purchase the VHS tapes. So this is actually where my physical media collecting began. So next up we have A League of Their Own. I really enjoyed this movie, very fun movie has always been a favorite of mine. So happy to have that one. An Officer and a Gentleman, really nice. Um, enjoy this movie also. Um, Absolute Power. Um, this right here is a great Clint Eastwood and Gene Hackman film. We have Air Force One, which I've always been a fan of. Really do enjoy Harrison Forces, uh, Harrison Ford's portrayal of this character. Um, American Ninja 2. Of course, this right here is one that I've seen on um, cable. Another Stakeout with Rosie O'Donnell. Armed and Dangerous. This has always been a favorite of mine of a John Candy film. So I love having this one in the collection. Okay, we have Back to the Future. And we have Back to the Future, the McDonald's edition. So I recently showed this on my Instagram page. So back in the early 90s when this came out, there was a promotion. Of course, you can see on the back here, we have one with the barcode and one without. So the barcode one is one that I purchased in the store. Um, but then there was a time at McDonald's where you could actually purchase, um, purchase VHS tapes. Um, as you can see on the stickers, on the stickers there. Um, they had several, so this is my first McDonald's VHS tape that I had in the collection. There will be more that you'll see in future videos. I got Back to the Future 2. Now this one right here is not sealed up. This is actually opened. I wanted to show this as an example. So we have the nice VHS tape. These have all been stored in pristine condition in plastic totes. Um, so. Um, this, of course, is worth a lot more when it is still um, still sealed up. But here's the spine. There we go. But I love the Back to the Future movies. I saw all of those in the theater when, as they were released. Lots of fun to watch those. Okay, next up we have Back to the Future 3. Really nice looking artwork. And we have Bloodsport. I love the John claude Van Damme movies, and as you can see, this is based on a true story, so I really love having that on VHS. Okay, next up we have Beverly Hills Ninja, starring Chris Farley. Another favorite of mine, Beetlejuice. Beethoven, which is a very fun movie. Beaches, which I featured recently in a um, video about some of the saddest movies that I've got in my collection. We have Batman and Robin, 
really like the artwork on this. I remember taking my kids to see this in the theater when it came out. Um, we were so excited about it just because of all the characters. Really fun movie. Um, not such a great Batman movie though. We have Backdraft, which I always love. Okay, we have Bird on a Wire. Always enjoy this one also. Black Eagle. Another Van Damme movie. Blown Away. Sorry, I've been forgetting to show some of the backs of these. We have The Bodyguard. I always enjoyed this one. We have the Brady Bunch movie, which I always enjoyed this one. It was a fun movie. It did recently get a um, Blu-ray release, which I still need to pick up. Then we have this big old double pack for Braveheart. As you can tell, a long movie. Got two VHS tapes. We have um, Brewster's Millions. Broken Arrow, which I love. We have Bushwhacked. And we have Clear and Present Danger. So those are all the VHS tapes that I have in this first tub. I do hope to do some more videos. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular VHS tapes that I have in my collection. Please let me know if you have any of these still in your collection. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.